So we've got the Camaro back from paint. Patchmaker did a killer job. The Porsche green has turned out absolutely crazy. Better than expected. Uh, really suits the body lines of the Camaro, so we're super pumped about that. Uh, the boys unloaded it this morning. It's here behind me. Uh, I thought today would be a great opportunity to show you guys who's involved with the build. Uh, we have a huge amount of people, sponsors, uh, people who are helping out, people who are donating parts, people are giving us some discounts on some stuff. We've got some big companies like Harrop Engineering, uh, Haltech, uh, even down to our coding uh, from High Octane. He, he's been helping us out with coding all our parts that are finished. So Adam's coming down from Customs for Cancer today. We're going to run through all the different parts. They're at various stages of completion. Some are done and coded, some are we're still kind of getting them done. And as you can see behind, chassis here, forge line wheels are on. Have a look at these, look at these wheels. I was a bit hesitant at first with the gold, but Adam Adam's stood strong and I think he's actually pulled it off. Uh, if you look at the Porsche green with the gold forge line, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. So what are you gonna do, just walk in? Or just walk in, yeah? Oh. I did that already. <laughs> so it's been a while, mate. You haven't yeah, seen it for a while, have you? Yeah. You haven't seen wheels, paint, motor in. I haven't. None of I've been COVID. Been? COVID's been holding me back. I've been stressed out like there's no tomorrow. I'm here today, and my God. What do you think? The colours. Oh, I mean, I picked them, so I should be happy. But <laughs> the colours. I said before I was a little bit hesitant about the gold wheel, but I think I think you pulled it off. Man, I love the wheels. The big forge lines. Yeah. I love this outer finish on there, it's smoked, it's beautiful. Body's ready to go on, man, so we put fuel line back in, uh, power steer lines are in, engines coupled to transmission, clutches in. Yeah, we'll probably put it up on the hoist this afternoon and couple it up, final. It's not coming apart again. The only thing I am disappointed about, it's not my car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. wow. Can we buy tickets in this raffle? Well, we're no. not allowed to. No. Allowed. Yeah, okay. I think Jace killed it, Patchmaker, they did a killer job. He's nailed it, mate, yeah. he's nailed it. You know what, the boys have done a great job the whole way through, metal work, been a breeze to deal with. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the oxide red is yeah, pretty looks cool factory, as well. Yeah, yeah. That was um, Nellamodi's idea. Was it? Run a run an oxide in there and keep it like a standard theme. Yeah. It's a standard colour from factory. I think underneath. We'll be able to see later, but the green, the Raptor yeah, that they use underneath, that, yeah. yeah, it looks awesome. Let's have a look. Let's yeah. have a look. Looks good, eh? It's a long way from when we picked it up, huh? Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> so before we put the body on, I just thought it's probably a good chance to run through different pieces that we've got for the car. Stuff we've made, stuff we've been sponsored. We can start here with Haltech. They've come on as a, a massive sponsor for the car. They've helped us out immensely. So the car's running the Elite 2500 ECU and the IC7 Dash. Just for engine management purposes, we're still running a factory wiring harness, but we just brought in that, brought that in for the ECU. This looks like something that Haltech actually make, but uh, the boys here at Moins Motor Car built this. Have a look at this little unit. You like that, Barry? I like that. That is special. We even texture coated it for you, mate. So I like the wrinkle finish, as you'll see on the vehicle. What have we got here? This is the. Uh, this is the pedal box. Part. Yeah. Well, obviously that the comes left to right. Too. No, that's not factory. <laughs> that one. No. <laughs> because of the left to right, we spoke about this a while back. There's a few hours in that one, Adam. Pity you can't just mass produce these because you probably go all right. Well, not too many people want left to rights, mate. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> uh, we're waiting on a couple of pedal pads from Clayton Machine Works. Uh, they came in last week, so. We just got to attach those to there. Also, uh, Scotty at OxyTech has supplied all the powders and everything that we put on the vehicle. Um, and high octane performance coatings have applied all the products for us, which has been great. Yeah, he's done a killer job, man. So what have we got here? The factory looking radiator. Yeah, well, we made this in house, uh, used the PWR core, yep. but just runs two 14 inch fans. So all the components are here for the exhaust system. Uh, headers supplied by Roadster Shop. They're a nice place to work, aren't they? Yeah, they're awesome, man. Stainless, inch and seven eight. Perfect for that. And fuel tank, again, from the Roadster Shop. This is a must-have. This is built specifically to suit their chassis. Tapered sides on the fuel tank, obviously, to allow exhaust clearance. In-tank pump, again, coated by high octane. Just straps into the original position. Probably last, uh, but not least, definitely, I wanted to have the brakes here to show you guys today, uh, but I need to have a special mention to Harrop Engineering. Uh, they really got behind the build. They've yeah, helped out with uh, the brakes for the car. Uh, they've helped out through their partnership with Forge Line. Uh, we gave them hardly any notice whatsoever. Yeah, and they got the wheels here. They've also given us the True Track for the diff. That's got a yep. Harrop True Track in it. Yep. Short shifter we're going to use for a Harrop. They've been great to deal with. They always have been. So we'll probably uh, move all this out of the way, put the body on the hoist and drop it on the chassis, what do you think? It's boom time, bro. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is it. Uh, body and chassis meeting for the first time. Uh, won't be long now before we can have a look at this Roadster Shop chassis from underneath. That's a wrap today. We've got the Camaro sitting on the chassis. All systems go here. Brent's dropped in real quick to go through what we're doing with the trim. Um, sneak peek of what's to come. Um, the carpet, the chocolate brown Beautiful napper. Leather looks awesome against it. And um, yeah, team I seats. Stay tuned. Stay the next tuned video in, uh... we are going to show Brent in action and this thing's going to really come to life.